you're in the gray. So, um, I just had my doctor's appointment. I love how they tell you to get there early and they'll charge you if you're late. But Jesus Christ, if you're late, like, oh my God, they will kill you. Um, so I, my appointment's at 1.30 and then I first got in the room at 2 and now it's 3. So my job's probably freaking out being like, is she's coming back? Because generally my shift, my full-time job, my shift is generally done at uh, 4. I'm just going to have to do it like this. I just hope I don't get fucking ticketed. Oh. Um, but, um, so, what this gentleman wrote, first off, I really do like her. She said a lot of smart stuff and what have you. So, first thing that I really caught on, she said that I really don't like the doctors you've been seeing. They've been super premature on what you could have with not substantial information. She's like, yes, your MRI is not normal for a 25-year-old, but the fact that you've had migraines, which these white spots on your brain could be typical to migraines, um, could be what's been really going on. She also told me that my migraines could be manifesting into something different and giving me these new symptoms and what have you. Um, I did tell her, I was like, well, the fact that last year I had like migraine, 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 and now this whole year I haven't had a migraine since. So isn't that kind of weird? She's like, yeah, but that also says that maybe they turned into something different. And I'm like, hmm, that's true. She also said that some of my symptoms could be uh, related to my anxiety and my PTSD. Um, which personally, I don't think so, especially since my therapist and I have been kind of like on a game about that shit. Um, but hey, I'll look into it. Um, she also said that uh, if it were to be MS, it's very premature. Um, she did tell me that um, if I have any symptoms that are persistent and long term, definitely give her a call and she'll bump up my MRI. So currently, my MRI for my f other neurologist, my MS neurologist, uh, scheduled be for a yearly MRI on December 6, 2014. So with my current new neurologist told me that um, anything changes, she'll bump it up earlier and see what's going on. She specifically said that anytime I'm getting a persistent symptom, she wants to see what's going on with my brain so that could help me out and help them out to figure out what the fuck is going on. Um, so A, my new neurologist, my new general neurologist, to specify them, um, is really smart. She actually, I recognize on the school she went to. She looked really young, but I know what I calculated with her degrees, she's not really that young. Which, A, means that she's educated and all that jazz. Um, I liked a lot of things that she said um, and validated a lot of stuff. She did give me kudos to being in therapy. She's like, that, and not a lot of people do that, and that's kudos. Um, and we talked about a lot of stuff with that. Um, and what have you. She did say it would be kind of interesting to see if I did get on, get on some PT, PTSD or anxiety medicine, medicine medication, how that would affect a lot of my symptoms, um, just to kind of rule out if uh, anxiety was really playing a role in this. Yet again, I'm kind of really against medication, um, especially since the last year they thought I had freaking epilepsy and they put me on this anti-seizure medication that made me really weird and feel not good. So I'm kind of like, ah, oh, medication, I don't know. But um, but yeah, as it stands, I just got to be more mindful about my symptoms, but don't freak out. She's like, you're starting all the new stuff. Enjoy it. Try to manage your anxiety and your stress. Definitely drink a lot more water. She also said that it could be basal pulmonary something. I didn't recognize it. I just recognized the basal. It's like, oh, that's part of the brain. She said that... Um, to drink a lot more water and anytime I feel faint or anything to drink a lot of more water and see what happens if I feel better or what have you um, and if that gets worse or the symptoms during the heat are hot get worse to let her know and she'll mock up something she wants all of my apparently she didn't get everything that I ordered and gave her so I'm gonna have to call the doctors and tell them hey where are those things that I told you to send to her um, but overall good appointment um, didn't necessarily give me a diagnosis, but I did not think it was going to be giving me a diagnosis, though it validated a lot of things I've been going through, and I definitely feel very confident and feel good about this doctor, so I'm going to stay with her. Um, so, you're in the green, it sucks, and welcome to an, possibly another couple years until they can really figure out what's going on, um, but I definitely feel like I'm on a better foot, and definitely really like this doctor. Um, so, hope you have a good day, and I'm going back to work, 3 p.m. Um, 
But, um, yeah, so you're in the gray, hang in there, be a tough cookie, and yes, it really sucks, and definitely, um, message me down below in the links, um, through, I have a Tumblr and a P.O., um, not a P.O. box, I have a Tumblr and a Gmail account, and you can email me questions, or if you know what I'm going through or anything like that, please, please, I definitely, I've met a couple of cool people that are going through some similar stuff, and it's really been helpful in what my journey and my quest in, um, gaining a diagnosis and, being part of a bigger community um and that would be great so i hope you have a good day and hang in there kiddo